My name is Brooke Simmons. I'm from the University of Oxford. And I work on galaxies, and in particular, I work on black holes that live at the centers of galaxies. I've always been very curious about things. Um, from when I was very young, uh, it's not that I was necessarily interested in science at a very young age, but I was always the one who needed to know why. And that was just always encouraged, and, and it became clear to me fairly early on that science was a place where I could apply my natural curiosity. Galaxy Zoo helps us by helping us, number one, find interesting and rare objects. Astronomers in particular, and scientists in general, are faced with a problem, which is not really a problem, in that we have so much data now in this world. Uh, there's just so much good technology for capturing data, and in our case, images of galaxies, that there's not enough scientists in the world to go through it all. And so we need people's help. And people are experts at pattern detection and images. One of the most fundamental questions when you take an image of the sky that may have thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of galaxies in it, is what do the galaxies look like? Are they smooth, rounded galaxies that don't have any features in them? Are they featured? Do they have spiral arms or bright points of light in different colors? That sort of thing actually tells us very interesting information about the physical nature of the galaxies and the history of the galaxies, the evolution they've undergone, whether they have, for example, collided with many other galaxies in their history, and that kind of thing you get just by looking. We hope that what people will get out of the project will be many different things to different people. Uh, people, we hope, will be educated by the project to learn about galaxies as they're answering the questions about the galaxies. Um, we also hope that they'll come to understand the process of science a little better, uh, even if they don't do science at all in their everyday lives, and just the knowledge that they've helped make a contribution to science and what that means for them directly and for society as a whole. For more information, visit adlerplanetarium.org slash citizen science.